Alright team, let's finish this. What's in my daily chest? It's a lovely little camo trap. Nice. Always good vibes to start off the rest of the Odyssey. 22 towers, 3 maps, roughly 7 towers per map, plus Gwendolyn. How bad could it possibly be? Jump cut to me on like Monday morning being like, this is garbage. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, it shouldn't, it shouldn't come to that. It should not come to that. Right, we can't remove these. Because they're expensive and we won't be able to afford anything else if we do. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe... Tack Shooter to start with? I mean, it won't be great. But it'll be good enough. And then we can sell it for Gwen later. Does that... Does that seem fair? Because the balloons are moving at half speed, which means this guy technically does shoot twice as fast. Technically. Oh yeah, the balloons suffer much more coming the other way. Just because there's a tack that goes down and to the right, rather than one that goes sort of here, middle ground-ish. Right, if I sold that, would not be enough for Gwendolyn. But, yeah, we're getting close to the point of maybe leaking balloons if these greens are a pain in the butt. Yep, they were a pain in the butt. Okay, do we have a way to get lives back? Yes, we do. Huh. Maybe we can just do that then. We've got plenty of time to do it. So maybe losing a couple lives here and there isn't awful. Because we'll just, we'll just get them back. We'll just get them back. We'll just win them over with our good looks and charm. How hard could that be? Maybe we could just keep this tag shooter until we can afford Gwen. Is that a thing that we might be able to do? We will lose a few lives here and there, that's for sure. But... Support Chinook will absolutely give us 50 lives within, like, one or two abilities. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it, it, it does it quite well and quite, quite quickly. Do I want 10? Or do I want faster shooting, maybe? Both are good. Both are good. Do I want both, though? No, I want Gwendolyn. I want some autonomity. Autonomity? Autonimity? Autonomous working. I'm looking for some automated... I'm looking to not have to worry about my tower. <laughs> I want my tower to worry about itself. And to leave me out of the worry equation. Okay, that's actually very good. Uh, never mind. Oh, sort of. Oh, yeah, 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 kind of missed one there, Tack. Yeah, kind of missed one. Nice. Okay, making up for it, making up for it. I like that, I like that. Okay, this is much better than selling and rebuying the Tack, because on half cash, that, that selling and rebuying that ordinarily would uh, just leave a slight hole in your wallet leaves a burning crater instead. It's not great. But, now that we've got Gwendolyn, fuck yes. We- oh! <laughs> you know what really is bad? I completely forgot this was an extreme mode odyssey. How do I do that? That's- that's amazing. That requires some level of- Some particular level of just what the fuck, really? To- to completely forget about that. Right. Yes, I remember what we're doing now. Extreme Mode Odyssey, Half Cash, A Quiet Street. Uh, things are stronger but slower. More slow than they are stronger. Um, I think this is a map we use a heli on, right? Yeah, so I think we could do this with Gwen, Tack, and Heli. Pretty, uh, pretty nicely. Considering we can get to Dart Ship. Not, not all the uh, paths have been ruined. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna say two things, and I'm not fully sure about them, but if if you're interested in talking about Odyssey specific stuff, then then do let me know in the comments if you agree with this. But I think two things should be uh well, maybe three, but the third one's kind of optional. Uh, two things should almost always... There are like two rules for an Odyssey in my book to be fun. First rule is you don't restrict tower upgrades. You can restrict towers completely, that's fine, but don't restrict tower upgrades. I feel like if you do that, then uh, then things are a lot more fun because you got a lot more options. Or if you are going to restrict tower upgrades, don't restrict them for every single fucking tower. Don't limit me to just one one singular fifth tier path for every single tower. That's terrible and shitty. I like variety. I like creativity. If I can't flex my brain to be like, you know, it would be better than that, the other cross path, and then try that, I feel like I'm just wasting my fucking time because someone's trying to get me to think what they think, and if I don't think how they think, then I think that's dumb. Anyway, so yeah, I like, I like having multiple cross paths to choose from. And number two... I don't think chimps mode should be in Odysseys. Just flat out. I feel like chimps mode is a game mode that you can work for and achieve in your own time, at your own pace, or with friends. I don't feel like it's Odyssey appropriate. I don't know, maybe, that, maybe that's weird to some people, maybe it isn't. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's just what I've been thinking. Maybe I get this. Chuck down some fire. We are gonna at least... Oh wait, no, yeah, that's... Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, no extra money. <laughs> I was wondering about that, right? Because my brain was just like, Hey, you just remembered that this is an extreme mode odyssey. And then I was just like, Oh yeah, haha, <laughs> silly mistake. Good thing I didn't place a lot more towers. And then my mind was like, I bet you're still forgetting something, though. And that was the fact that I said I was going to get my lives back with a support chin-up. And admittedly, if I do have any towers to spare here, it's probably the heli. Also, I've just realized unless I play something else, I'm not going to be able to afford camera detection and I will die. So that's cool. Because Gwen does not have it. Anyway, let's, let's, just, let's just pretend this... This didn't happen. Right. What do we want to pretend happened instead? I do think Tax Shooter was a good start. Maybe... Maybe we Tax Shooter and then Monkey Ace? Tax Shooter Monkey Ace leads us to... Spectre. Let's face it, I'm not going any other path. Too expensive. Uh, Tax Shooter Monkey Ace leads us to Spectre. Never miss versus a Moab that is at half speed, but 70% more health. Doesn't sound too terrible. Let's try it out, shall we? Except this time, I will buy more tanks and faster shooting straight away. Just because I want to be safer. Now realizing that I will not be making back the money or the lives that I might lose, I want to be safer with my lives in general. So let's let's invest a little more into our future, shall we? Seems smart. Wait, I've also just realized something. Half cash reverse, half cash. Ah. Uh, okay. But that okay, yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. I just was thinking about starting towers for the other maps. Uh, luckily, the next map isn't half cash and it starts us off with a shit ton of money. 
and then the last map does start us off with half cash, but starts us off at 650, and the entire map is water, basically, by the end of the game. So, not too big of a deal when we've got a Buccaneer for 540. So, all is well. All is well. Doesn't feel like this guy's gotten more... tax. Don't know why. Come on. How come it feels like it's dealing less damage? Or not, is, or isn't as efficient as it once was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more life is fine. I would prefer to not drop below something like 30. If possible. Because I feel good about our start on the next map. It's just the last map. I haven't played it much. Round one is is very kind, actually, but yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll just see. And I brought my boats along mainly for that last map, but if I use one here, it wouldn't be too terrible. Okay, should be able to afford Gwen next round. Oh yeah, should be fine. Come on. Cool, cool, cool. Right. A little bit more firepower. Ha ha. Get it. Right. And then instead of going for expensive, expensive, we're gonna go for cheap, cheap plus two upgrades to give us camo detection and blindly shooting in directions until we hit the camo balloon three times. Because I'm sure that'll go much better than, uh, than trying to save up for a heli, not affording it, and then not being able to shoot camo balloons as well. Luckily, Gwendolyn can do our lead balloon cleanup. Do, 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 do. And it burns, burns, burns. Mr. Montgomery. Montgomery burns. Alright, but yeah, we do have a good chunk of options for the last couple of maps. I did want to make sure my options were quite spread, considering Mesa exists as a map. Don't know why, it just does. Um, but yeah, Mesa sucks. I think we all agree with that. There's no upside to Mesa. It's just, it's just pure garbage. Ah, pure garbage. What a classic. I'm still waiting for middle of the road. Um, that, that map will be made at some point. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. Because then we got start, end, and middle. That would be lovely. Right, I'm putting you here. Just for the fact that you could potentially benefit from the heated up buff. In fact, you will, and I want that to happen. So, I also want you to drop a bunch of bombs. Is that cool? Is that a cool thing to ask? Might not be, but either way, I'm making you do it, so it doesn't matter if you appreciate it or not. Okay. This is a better start, because we actually have more damage. Then we get spy plane before round 24 which admittedly if we didn't have it by round 24 not the biggest dick not the biggest deal on the planet but uh oh easy easy shreds to shreds you say ooh purple Luckily, we have two dart throwers around the map. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. A little scary, but we're good. 
I think it's the extra pierce that these uh, darts flying out of the ace get that uh, really do the work, if I'm honest. Come on, centered path and never miss. That's the goal. No! Oh, little pineapple's helping me out there. That's always nice. I kind of like you where you were, though. I like you hanging around that area, messing things up for the balloons. We've got ten rounds to afford never miss. And hope that it's enough to kill a Moab. We'll see, I guess, but... I think I'm more scared of the ceramics inside. Like, yeah, the Moab outside is going to be stronger than usual, but what's more terrifying? Ceramics or Moabs, right? Now, obviously, you'd think Moabs, but when you realize that you can buff both ceramics and Moabs, and on top of that, that ceramics come out of Moabs, so if you're thinking about it as health until death, a Moab is scary. You know, 170% health is terrifying. But then it spawns four ceramics at 170% health. Most likely midway through the map, potentially even further. And that to me is a little more terrifying if a ceramic just spawned here rather than here. So I think the ceramics might actually be worse to deal with. I don't know, we'll have to see. I will throw that down. It does seem like things are heating up a bit. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Heli's heli? Uh, Monkey Ace is actually doing God's work right here. Absolutely helping us crush it. Okay. There we go. Crush it some more, plane. Crush it some more. Nice. Right. Now the question is, do we go straight for Spectre? Or do we put some more points into, say, our little friend over here first? And do we ever consider buying another tower on top of these two? Right? Because, in theory, if we've got seven to spend per map, that widens our budget per map, right? So the whole seven to spend thing is just if we get really desperate and we have to use seven towers per map, we can. That's that's sort of the uh, the bright side. The last resort sort of last ditch effort. Hopefully we don't need to, but if we do need to, it's an option type thing. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. See, that's what I'm talking about. If ceramics spawn there and they're on their way out, way more terrifying than a Moab with that much health. Okay. Hmm. Now, this could be very expensive to the point of not being worth it at all. But what if we did this? Just that. We don't, we don't do anything else, we just do that. Just so that we can pop this a bit more, bit more effectively. Because, I mean, look at it die. It's already dying, which is great. We love to see that. I suppose this guy is designed to take down uh, big losers like this guy. Oh, and it's beautiful. Oh, and it's so beautiful. There's the never miss. There it is. Only thing we need now is camera detection. I should have gotten that first, but we'll earn enough money from this round to be able to afford it again. It's only half cash. It's not ABR. Fuck yes. Okay. We're back. That hasn't done much for us other than 
made me realize that our Moab popping power will be lacking quite severely for some time if I choose to not buy any more towers. Which is terrifying to think about. It's very terrifying. Could we uh, aim for the things actually leaving the map? That'd be cool. Um, maybe I do just place another plane, honestly. Two planes, saving four helis. Actually, no, maybe we do just place a heli. I did plan to use a heli anyway. And a heli would be more direct Moab damage, constantly following it around the map. Harassing it, essentially, every day. My only problem with the heli is the same problem I have with the Spectre and... It's just, it's just, the, the tier 3 is good, but not amazing. And it's expensive. Um, so what if we go for a wizard? Summon Phoenix. It's not as expensive. Getting a deep breath and then summon Phoenix. And it's a bit more damage. A bit more reliable damage overall. If I get a summon Phoenix and put it here. I vibe with that. Will that actually... Oh my god, it does hit. Nice, that wall of fire is going to come in very nicely. Going to come in clutch. Right. You will deal with all of our purple problems. Camouflaged or otherwise. You were here for the early game. We salute you, good sir. You are here to deal with everything lead related. And you are here for damage reasons. That's about it. God damn, we still weak as fuck. Gwen, I'm gonna have to abuse your ability for a while before we can stand on two legs. At least let me get D breath up and running before uh, before that terrifying situation occurs. Let's chuck that down now. There we go. Deal with half so we can focus on the other half. Much better. Cool. Oh god, there's more! Luckily they're not fortified. They're just regular. Oh right, 170%. That does explain a lot. Cool. So we can handle that. We can handle that. Ooh, this guy also has camera detection. Another very, very good thing. When did we go to 36 lives? I was not paying attention. Was it that round or a round before or something? Hmm. I should probably pay more attention. Come on. Dragon's Breath would be so good here. Thank you. Ooh. You get a buff. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize. I forget about that, to be honest. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, a ring of fire, signal flare, and dragon's breath. Attack speed and radius. Ooh, very nice. I like that it's map wide too. That is super handy. Okay. Now do we have enough damage to singly pop a Moab without having to use an ability? That's my main concern. Or swap to another tower completely and then swap back. That's my other concern. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. It's not amazing at the moment, but it certainly helps. Okay, camo balloons. Yes, wizard. Yeah, 100% plane would not be able to solo this on his own. It's a good thing I got another camo detecting attacker. I do want to go for a summon phoenix. I think that'll probably be the most beneficial next sort of follow-up play. Um, I might put that down here, actually. Just in case this gets a little out of hand, which I think it might. Yep. Thought as much. Cool. I also want another ability. Just think about it, right? One ability on 100% cooldown should be equivalent to two abilities at 200% cooldown, right? 
if they're the same cooldown, essentially. Okay, maybe we don't need to use an ability here. Maybe we're so good at the game that we just don't need one. Nah, no, let's use it. I was a little terrified, I'm not gonna lie. Cool. Another- Oh, three abilities! Hell yeah! That certainly helps everything. Especially now. Oh, actually, Gwen is, is pretty fucking tough on her own now. I don't even know if we have to worry about an ability at all this round. Holy shit, Gwen! Chill! The fuck out, man. The balloons are suffering enough. Not alone without you adding to the mix. Right, should we just go full crazy mode then? Should I go ring of fire down here? Is tempting. Is really tempting. Having fire themed team on the loose. But at the same time, my mind just keeps screaming at me. Think about the fucking purples. Just constantly in my head. Does Gwen ever get an upgrade that says, hey, by the way, ignore purple balloons, they're dumb. Because Striker Jones gets that ability. Why couldn't, why couldn't, why couldn't Gwen? Surely Gwen can get that ability too. Okay, saved, saved. Do we even need abilities here? Do we even? I thought, I thought for a second there the monkey ace had just given up. He's like, eh, fuck it. If you made it through that, walk. But no, no, no. The, the projectiles were just being weird. I thought he just stopped shooting and he's like, you know what? That's it for me. I'm, uh, that's my time for the evening. I'm just gonna leave. Good, 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 good. Anyway. Um. Oh, fun fact. Went to work today. Uh, it, it was a terrible start to the day, actually, because I had to wake up early. If you had, uh, if you had jumped in on my Plants vs. Zombies stream the other night, you would have known about that. Not that it matters if you did or didn't. I don't personally care, but anyway. Um. I did, I did mention that on stream, that I had to start early, and I did start early, and there was an entire pallet of diced tomatoes in a can, right? I'm not saying the entire pallet was a massive can of diced tomatoes, no, there were many cans of diced tomatoes on the pallet, so essentially the can, the, the, the pallet was entirely covered in them, right? I'm gonna use this here. I don't, I don't know how great our cleanup will be of of those threats. Um, in fact, I don't know how good our cleanup will be right here. It seems okay. Yeah, I trust it. Why not? I no longer trust it. Do I heat it up? Go on. Burn everything to the ground, please. Thank you. Cool. Oh, but 63 is a thing, and now purple balloons are a thing, and oh, this sucks. If we can survive this round, though, we can survive 63, I think. We'll get our abilities back roughly on time. And if we don't, then we just have to pray that we get it during 63, when we really need them. Hmm. Yeah, now this really isn't great with all the purple balloons ruining my day. Ah, do we get a heli? I'm glad I didn't get a ring of fire. Do we get a heli? That's my main question. Because if I get heli, I can get razor rotors. I can put it like just, just here have it shooting down that way, but have it razor rotor chop chop this way. 
Or maybe I could just go for that support Chinook I was talking about. Blow some balloons back while we're at it. That could be useful. That could be a useful tech. Um, because I do want my money, my, my lives back if I can help it. And I do feel comfortable and confident with these three abilities. So if we add a fourth to the mix, whoo, yes please. Um, just thinking about my actions, because my actions have consequences. Right. Let's attempt this. Let's get downdraft. Let's also just put you here. Let me just start the round. Just start the round, see how we go. Just throws out extra darts. You know, gives our uh, gives our main man and and Gwen some more time. I think I'm gonna use the Phoenix ability immediately. Is that smart? I don't know. I'm gonna do it though. Regardless of if it's smart or not. I want those mobs dead. If those purple balloons get in the way, then so be it. Okay, I think the Phoenix won't last nearly as long as I'd want it to. I think it'll only last until about a quarter way through its own cooldown. Yep, there it's gone. Cool, cool. Um, Dragon's Breath really needs to carry us here. If I'm honest. Because I can't use Gwendolyn's last, uh, third ability there, first ability there. Oh, wait, this is still on. Oh, yeah, I can just blow them all back, never mind. If we can pop this, then we, we're good. If we can't pop it, then we are very sad. Come on. Come on. Pop it. Pop it and blow them all back. I got them all. I got them all. I got them all. Send them back. Send them back. Back to Gwen. Yeah. Blow up and die. Cool. Gwen. This needs to be actually on a path now. And we need to use it right here. Cool. And we get the second one back. Uh-huh. Not that we use it just yet. If we can afford to just bounce these back a little bit, that's actually going to work really well. Nope, too terrified. Burn everything. That's fine, though, because that's the last wave. Right. Gain some goddamn autonomy. Autonomy. That's the word. Autonomy. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what it was before. Autonomous. Autonomosity. Autonomosity sounds like a, a ripoff of Lumosity. Join us at autonomosity.com. You can... Train your face. <laughs> I don't know why that was the first words that came to mind, but you know what? Yeah. Train your face. Do I want to ability here? Yes. Because no matter what happens, those Moabs won't die. On their own. Sadly. If only, am I right? Um, and if Gwendolyn's fire is not in the right spot for the round that we're on, I can just back out, restart that round, and all will be good. You know, no, no harm, no foul. Uh, I'm really liking going for the support Chinook now. I'm not going to lie. This, I feel like, was a better idea than... Uh, the damage one. I mean, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, right? I feel like... Of course, the Phoenix is my safety net. I say that a lot, because if I'm allowed to pick so many wizards, and it's a normal odyssey, I'm just gonna pick them all, and just have all wizard abilities. Summon Phoenix is just so good, that I just spam the shit out of it, and I call it my safety net. Because it's just, it's just easy. You just get two of them and then you just have them 
like, follow each other on the cooldown train. Let's get this cocktail ready, shall we? Maybe we don't need it, actually. They are all looking like they're about to pop. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. We've popped it much further back before and we crushed it. Cool. Okay, so it seems like regular mobs we can handle. Fortified mobs, depending on the quantity, we can handle. Ooh, how do I feel about regrow farming? Not, not particularly great about them, but, oh, never mind, we don't do them. That's, that's how you fix the problem, you just don't regrow farm. Cool, love that. My favorite solution. Although we don't have a lot of time to potentially get our lives back. That is a little concerning. Don't have a lot of time and we're on half cash, so in theory, even less time to get enough money to then get a support chinook to get us even more money and then some cash, some, some lives, sorry. But I do think one use of the lives will either put us back to full or put us at like 46. Which, honestly, may as well be full. You know, 50 was our maximum lives. That's pretty damn good if we can get to 46 again. But, yeah, it all depends on how much money these rounds earn us. And considering I don't know these rounds very well... Uh, hard to say. Hard to say what uh, may occur. Hmm... Although it seems to be feeding us quite nicely. It's just tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Just having my fingers over the over the, the buzzers. As needed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, those are fine, those are fine, and we're fine. Isn't that nice? Love finding out that we're fine. Is this a regrow farm? Is this what a regrow farm looks like? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Nah. Nah. We don't even know what the meaning of regrow or farm is. Hmm. I guess if I sold this, I could afford a support Chinook. That seems like it's a bit extreme, though. I'm not sure I want to risk that. Don't get me wrong, though. Gwendolyn is fucking smashing it. Cocktail of Fire does extra damage and sets Moab-class balloons alight. It didn't do that before? What? And at the same time, is that even necessary? Because her main gun sets them alight. And let's face it, it's not like Gwendolyn's going to cost chuck this cocktail anywhere she can't shoot. Unless I guess it's over a wall or something, but why would you ever try and make that a thing? It just seems dumb. Like, unfathomably dumb. Oh, I'll place Gwendolyn right next to this wall so every now and then she can lob a cocktail over and the cops won't catch her because they didn't see where it came from. That just seems unhinged. <laughs> I love how saying something is unhinged is saying it's like, whoa, that's a little crazy, that's a little like, that's a little too far gone sort of thing. But like, oh, so close, come on. Give me the money I need. I don't know how long round 75 goes for, honestly. It might not go for nearly long enough for us to get anything out of this. Oh, and it's the ability that takes 12 years. Why couldn't it be this one? Uh, whatever. We probably won't be able to use this. Unless this round, for some reason, just drags out forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Maybe if we don't use any abilities to clean these guys up, it might.
good, good. Nah, we kind of do need an ability to clean those guys up, huh? Otherwise that guy just goes through. Oh, but the ability's not even halfway through its cooldown! Don't do this to me! And there's no way I can speed that up just by existing. Which sucks. Uh, I guess we get the cocktail ready up here to kill off the fortified mobs but not attack the BFBs at all. I guess we just see how we do. That guy dies easily enough. That second guy dies easily enough. Uh, but we throw the cocktail there. Just for now anyway. So that everybody gets a taste of the fire. And by everybody I mean everybody that's not a Moab. Or that's not a BFB. Oh those are clusters though. Ooh. We could, we could potentially need some multiple abilities here. To deal with those. Which is fine. Hopefully we can get this fifth ability up and running though. It's doubtful. I won't lie. It's very doubtful. Oh god. Stop popping. I mean, do pop, but not in my time. In your own time. Throwing that down just in case cleanup is difficult. And it seems like it might have been, honestly. Okay, okay, we have a chance. Dragon's Breath. Could you... Actually, yeah, could you... Fuck off. Stop dealing so much damage, alright? They're our guests. For now. Nah. Nah, they're, they're gonna go through. They're gonna go through whether I want them to or not. <laughs> Damn. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. It's no big deal that we didn't get the lives back, to be honest. But at the same time, it would have been nice. Alright, nine towers per map. That is certainly a nice number. Yep. Thought so. Cool. Right. This really sucks, because there's only one more upgrade I can give the heli at this point. And that is just flat out this. Which really fucking sucks, because that's the same defense I started with the last time. Yay. I suppose I can sell it after this round. Hmm. Would be a shame, though, honestly. Would be an actual shame. Okay, what if we do that, and then this as our start. It's certainly not amazing, but it might get the job done. Let's find out. Okay. That is our beginning. Let's turn auto start off, actually. Let's turn auto start off. I know, I know, it's going to make the video like three times longer. But believe me, auto start off will save so much. So much. Right. I know for a fact that if I leave this guy here, he can practically solo. Um, I also know that I want to get another ability ASAP. That's not Gwendolyn's. And I want to get an ability that's insanely good. Which really leaves me with just one option on this map. I think we all know what that option is. The only problem with this defense... Oh, right, yeah, auto start. That's actually very good. Um, dun, 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 dun. Okay, here comes the first ability. Hopefully soon. Oh god, that's the terrifying part about auto start. Oh! Gold! Right, I need to protect the top row now, not the bottom row. I will absolutely forget about that. Um, because before I was protecting the bottom row more, because that's where I had 
That's why I didn't have this factory, but now I've got this factory there. I do need to protect the top row more. Damn it. If you had spiked balls, I would be so much more comfortable leaving you alone. But you didn't. Okay. You know what? Just, just... Gwen, do me a favor, would you? Sort this shit out. Jesus. Gwen, I know I was the one in charge of telling you when to throw, but... Feel free to act on your own if things are looking bad. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We look good. Damn it. I hate the fact that I want to speed this up. Because it'll get me killed. I know it will. Cool. Gwen's level up is like one of the few things that actually reminds me that auto start is off. Oh, don't attack me while I'm yawning. It's very rude. It's very rude. Pink balloons are fine, just don't make them worse. Purple balloons are also fine. Actually, definitely not for the top row. Please don't attack with purple balloons on the top row in mass. Bottom row's okay. Feel free to do so. Actually, what kind of wizards are we allowed? Oh, just middle path. Yeah, okay, never mind, that does suck. Dragon's breath. Good old D breath. Ignore the bottom row. Ignore the bottom row. Just focus on the top. Focus on the top. Good. Go again. I feel like such a critic. Okay. Don't remember what I was talking about. I know it was like five seconds ago, but I was interrupted. And now I can't remember shit. And I'm tired. Because it's late at night when I'm doing this. It is 10.35 and I should be in bed by 11. Fuck. Hopefully we can at least get through this map. And then I might have to do the last map Saturday. It just really sucks because sometimes my Friday nights are very packed and full. And so, I work in the mornings, I, I, I'm, I get home, I'm really fucking tired from that, I've got like an hour, half an hour maybe, and then I go out with the missus, which, no regrets, but it, it, uh, it does fill up my night quite a bit, and then I get home, it's like eight, nine o'clock, and I'm just like, right, yeah, Odyssey. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we should get that now. So that the ability can come back as soon as possible. So I can start spamming it. Right, so let's see how long this ability lasts, shall we? Is it the type of thing where we only need one phoenix now and we can phoenix spam? Or is it the type of thing where we need at least two? Because I do not mind getting a second. Love getting two of them. Because if I get two, and that's enough to just cycle through, the only threat we will face is purple balloons. And that is the one threat that we will have to rely on big boy helicopter here to take out for us. Because otherwise it's up to Spactory, and that's it. Nobody else can pop the perps. At least no one that we've got on the field. Which sucks. Right. Mm. 
Let's see how long this lasts, shall we? Use it. Good. Get camera detection, please. Stays on the field, staying on the field, staying on the field, staying on the field. More than halfway, staying on the field, staying on the field, staying on the field. Staying on the field still, still on the field, still on the field. Almost fully back by the time the cooldown runs out. Which means we can use it again for this Moab. Which is amazing. You don't even know how nice that is. And we've already placed another wizard. So we may as well just get a second one. And then have a permanent phoenix. Which is an amazing idea. I think it'll be the solution to my problems. And then it's just erosion, which isn't that bad of a map if I'm honest. Not that terrible of a map. Not, not that the map was terrible. I never said the map was terrible. I said not that terrible. Um, but it's it's not that crazy of a new difficulty spike, you know. It's not as mental as some of the Odyssey, other Odyssey maps that have been uh, have been used, or some of the other maps that have been used for other Odysseys. You know, it's not it's not downright batshit. And by batshit, I don't mean it as an insult. I just mean as in batshit crazy, like expert maps. Absolutely my least favourite is probably... Uh... Ooh, least favourite map overall? This one's close. This one's very close. I think Bazaar takes the cake. God, I hate Bazaar. Um, Bazaar sucks. Mesa sucks. Uh, Flooded Valley really sucks. Oddly enough... I don't mind blondes because that's meant to be ridiculous and it's so ridiculous that you can't even earn medals on it because it's not a map you can play in your little single player you've got to you got to easter egg it to get it right that I completely understand why that's fucking ridiculous and even hashtag chimps I haven't played it much and I genuinely am probably not that good at it but at the very least I can understand the difficulty level, but for some reason, Mesa and Bazaar are just like, on the outside, they look like they're kind and nice and gentle maps, but on the inside, the second you get to know them, they just start stabbing you in the pelvis, and you're just like, why the fuck are you, why there? Just hit me in the face straight up so I know you're a dick day one. You know? Rather than just like, you know, day three and out of nowhere you're just like, ho ho, pelvis removal time. It's just so rude. Anyway, don't ask where that came from, but my point still stands. Those maps suck. Okay. Cool. Having a permanent phoenix is a very, very nice addition to the, the Mesa map. I won't lie. Because the Phoenix attacks faster. Oh, loser. Just as I was giving you compliments. No, but the, uh, the Phoenix is very nice. Phoenix. There we go. Just needed to follow both of them a little better. Oh, this is the one where they, they come out in multiples. I see, I see. If I can get that spiked mines up and running, I can pay less attention to the bottom row, honestly. All good. Those wall of fires are providing excellent ceramic cleanup spots. And considering my damage is mostly mobile, I can sort of pinpoint when they'll die and just be cremated instantly. It's very fancy. There you go. Good. Gwendolyn, you are doing me amazing work. Okay. Spiked mines are now a thing. 
I can sort of rest and relax with the bottom row. Cool, cool. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, this is fine. We're fine, okay? This is fine. I forgot I had Phoenix ability for a second there. I won't lie, I did. Um, but yes, we're fine. God damn, this is gonna take a while. Especially on half speed. I mean, in theory, half speed is actually normal speed, right? Half speed for me, double speed for the balloons equals normal speed overall. Is that how that works? But then again, autoplay is turned off, so that's, that's also a little bit reduced speed as well. So maybe not quite normal speed, but somewhat close. Although I was, it, it was brought to my attention that the, uh, the double ace, or the, the, the fast forward icon and button in general isn't actually like double speed, it's like triple. So if you ever wondered why game goes a bit mental when you, when you speed it up, that's why. It's actually a lot faster than you think. Okay, purple balloons are doing my head in. That's great. I don't really want to place any other towers, if I'm honest. Moab Shove would definitely lessen my problems. And I could make it autonomous. Because let's face it, I probably won't use a s more than one heli on erosion. I don't need to. Yeah, okay. I might go for a Moab shot then. I've convinced myself. Both of you will follow me for now. Might not even need the Phoenix. No, I will need the Phoenix. I need some level of competent Moab damage. No offense, uh, Apache. Apache dart ship. Okay, much better. So much better. Right, is that all? Is that all you got? Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. Should have kept my mouth shut. All would have been fine. All would have been fine. But no, we're good. We're good. Okay. The power of putting your cursor roughly around this location. Very strong power. You shouldn't uh, you shouldn't take advantage of it too often. All right, let's keep it going. 63, summoning this for sure. God damn! What? <laughs> um, do we have a double phoenix ability on the first wave of 63? I mean, yeah. Why not? Right. Send one out immediately, and then send the other out when we see the Cerams. Oh, fuck yes. Clean, man. Clean. Oh, they even last over to the next round? Wave? Next wavy round? Nope, they both time out perfectly. Cool. Love that. This is fine, though, because we are prepared for the last round. There we go. That should be good, should be good, should be... Oh, perfect. Okay! I'm gonna slow it down again. Immediately, because I'm not an idiot. And I remembered I finished on a fast forward for some reason. I think after this, we genuinely go for... Uh, Apache Dart Ship. Dart Ship? No. Um, what do they call it? Comanche Defense. Apache Defense. Comanche... Uh, uh, Comanche Apache Defense... Uh, defense Commander. Commander Defense Apache Dart... Commander. 
Commander Heli Dart Ship. Helicopter. <laughs> I am extremely tired. We're focusing the top row. If you guys couldn't tell. Cool. Steady. Steady. Actually, no, we should 100% we should focus up here. Instead, as you can see, problems arise. That's what happens when I get too eager. Where does this go? Cool, good to know. That should be fine. It's a lot of cerams, but my boy down there got us covered. Hmm. Thought that might have been a bit late, but that's fine. We can do this, we know we can. Can we halt both progress at once? No, but we can do that, which is sort of just as good. Problem is sometimes Moab Shove just gets shoved. <laughs> like pushed aside. You don't really know why, it just kinda happens. Right, new new thing. We will always have a Phoenix on screen. I refuse to not have a Phoenix on screen at all times. It's just really helpful. It stops us having to pause and retry a level and go back and do it again and then the next round the same thing happens. You know, it's just it's just safe and it's just smart. Every time a phoenix dies, it rebirths from its own ashes and it's just ready to fucking go again. It's just smart. It's just how I want to play it. Again, those pesky kids. Mm, pesky bee. Right. Let's stop you immediately. I know I said one at a time, but this one's... I never said it had to not ever be two at a time. Yeah, think about that. Oh god, the round's still going. Okay, that's the end. What the fuck? Okay, all the mines blew up. That's the end. Oh, <sighs> jeez. Right. I want that. And I want you to potentially go out and do your own thing. Because I'm sick of you, personally. Sorry. I'm sick of babysitting you. You don't need me. That's what I'm trying to say. You're an independent adult now. You don't need me watching over your shoulder every three and a half seconds to every four seconds. I will simply guide my boy here on his own journey. Oh, the round is still going. I was like, what the fuck? The round hasn't started. Good catch, friendly choppers. That's good. You guys, you guys crush that. You guys absolutely excel at what you do. Which, I mean, in theory, you're programmed to do it, so you'd better fucking hope you do it well. Another one. And another one. Sadly, this is the reality we live in. We're speeding things up with the bottom... with the bottom right button is a very painful process, in which if I'm not ready with my mouse and my reaction timing is not off the charts insane, uh, balloons can easily just run through my defense, and I can't do anything about that. Um, luckily, we have this thing called not being insane, and we can just sort of relax, take it slow. I know it's painful. I was very painful, and I apologize if you are struggling to get view through this video because you see how long it's gonna take. Don't don't look at the timer. Don't look at the timer. If you're here for a good time, you won't notice that it's a long time. <laughs> uh, what's the actual saying? 
I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I think that's, that's, that's the saying. Or uh, live fast, die young sort of thing. It's like, I have all my fun now in a, in a short span of time. I won't have any regrets later. And I personally disagree with that. Like, for example, and I know I've talked about this before, and maybe I am just a boring person, but clubbing, I don't get it. How is that fun? Don't get me wrong, on, on paper, going out for drinks, people like to do that more than me, so I'm assuming that's a fun time for, for, for a good chunk of people. Um, Going out to to drink with some mates sounds like a great time. Going out to listen to some music with some mates sounds like an amazing time. Going out to get a bite to eat with some mates also sounds like a really good time. However, why would I want to be in a crowded, loud as fuck, probably basement, rubbing bodies with other people? And when I say that, I mean crowded dance floor, because sometimes there's not even any fucking seats. So I've heard. Um, yeah, why would I want to be squished up like sardines with other people? And by the way, who may potentially, on purpose or not, accidentally run their hand all over you. Yep, it's getting creepier, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, when I could experience all the pros that I listed off earlier at a restaurant or at a bar or a pub, you know? I don't need to go to a nightclub where my ears don't work afterwards. I wake up in some stranger's lap and I've drunk shots off of other people's body. That just, that doesn't appeal to me, man. I don't know, it never did. At no point in time did I think that was going to be a, a fun thing for me to do, ever. You know, the only time I would ever potentially do that would be to, I don't know, if I wanted to meet someone that was fucking mental. And by fucking mental I mean an extrovert, because I'm a, I'm a pretty heavy introvert, but I can, I can, I can, I can sort of, uh... Oh, thank you, helicopters that came out of nowhere. Actually, you came out of exactly where I needed you to. The end of the map, not the start. Just flew out of nowhere my, like my superheroes. Thanks, Comanche Defense. I swear I've learned your name now. I haven't checked if I have, but I think that's your name. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. All good. I handled it. Need to handle these ones, though. Gonna summon a second bird to help. Good. That's fine. Even the even the even the Comanche defense was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. We've seen what the Spectre can do. That's that's fine. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Holding it back. Holding it back. Holding it back. Good. 76, fine. What the fuck? It's not. Cool. Okay. My apologies. I was just making sure everything is all good with the people in my life. Right. Um. Yeah, defense. I thought so. Right, let's just solve this the other way then. Burn. Cool. It's like the only time I could really think to actually use that and have it be necessary. Right, now we're in the good stages of the game. Now I know what's coming. 77, 78, 79. Pushover, well, maybe not fortified BFBs, but pushovers, mate. Pushovers. What do they have that I don't? Idiocracy. Good, we're good. Bird, we need a bird. 
don't think we need... Oh, we, we do need some more. Hmm. Mm. Let's get a second bird. Let's get a second bird. Let's get a second opinion. Second bird. Fly over here, please. Oh my god, thank you. We needed that emergency use. Commander. Commander? Defense, sorry. And... All is good. 78. We know what 78 is. And we're ready for it. We were ready for it with 76. We'll be ready for it with 78. And... Burn. That didn't seem to work as well as, as 76. Um... Help? <laughs> right, let's summon a bird to help us out. And then let's try that again. Burn. Are those camouflaged? Because <gasps> it's reverse. Duh. How did I not remember that? Reverse reverses the order in which the balloons come out, as well as the order of, of which side they come out from and end from. I'm so dumb. This is a double phoenix job. I think I will still use the other ability. I'll use it early though. Much better. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Purple popping power is still very limited. Because we've got some crazy motherfuckers on our team. Okay, this is fine though, because it sort of plays out the same way anyway. Okay. Admittedly though, with stunning that guy there, I don't know when these uh, Cerams will come out. So let's get ready for him now. Double time. Because I feel like we stalled him there for a while. Come on. Please. Thank you. Burn. Sweet. Oh yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Oh god, not that speed. We're not that speed level ready. Okay. I'm gonna focus all my popping power into you. And then I will do this. And that. Okay. Powerful threats die first. Live fast, die young. Fortified BFBs uh, suck. If you are expecting that to rhyme, don't worry. I'm just as disappointed in myself as you are. I expected it to rhyme as well. <laughs> my brain just did not make any connections there. Like zero were made in my head. It just, I was just like... Mung. <laughs> That's all I could think of. Good old mung beans. Ooh, saved it. Good, good. The good abilities are ready. And the big mofo is on his way. Oh, you're so screwed, Mr. Big Mofo. So unbelievably screwed. Didn't even hit the right track, but you know what? I don't care. Because we win. Oh my god, that took forever. Right, erosion. It's 11.03. And we've got 90 rounds to get through. <laughs> but, but. Oh, anyway, that's a good way to end it. Um, I'll do this, this last map another day. All right. I know, I know. It's this this video is coming out late. That's for damn sure. Um, but there's a very good reason for that, and it's not because this map is difficult. Uh, it's because I just I just didn't have time the other day. I can't place Gwendolyn as a start. That sounds like a terrible idea. Although having Gwendolyn at all sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll put Gwen like here, and then move her again later, but obviously not right now. Um, but yes, I sadly was 
up a little bit too late recording maps three and four. Uh, so when by the time it got to map five, it was it was my bedtime, and I needed to be at work uh, the following day quite early. So here I am on a lovely Saturday filming the rest of this Odyssey. My apologies for those that were looking up for part two on the Friday. Uh, and I did not get it to you guys sooner. I went to work, came home, went out with the missus, date night, good old Fridays, uh, every other Friday. Um, we had a lovely evening, had some dessert, got home at around nine, started recording maps four and uh, three and four. Three was okay, four was Mesa, which is never okay. Uh, I don't think anyone can mentally recover from something like that. Um, and then it was it was like eleven o'clock by the time I got to map five. Got to, by the way. Um, not not uh, not not like halfway through. No, just by the time I got to map five, it was like eleven. And then I did do an attempt. To be like, eh, if I get it, then that's good. Get it out the way, sort of thing. Uh, I didn't get it. Not immediately, at least. So. Sucks, but... <clears throat> here we are. Right. I think I do want to place Gwen maybe here. Just so that... Yes, I know Gwen will get fucking obliterated. If, uh... If, of course, I leave her there. She will go down and sink into the water. Uh, but here's the thing. I don't really care. Because um, I just need her to help me pop a Moab. That's it. That's legitimately it. Because I did this strategy before. Uh, not this one specifically. But I did a similar strategy before. Didn't work. You know why? Second I could afford Gwen, I put her up here. Thinking, oh... I need, I need Gwen to have all her abilities and to be constantly useful and not disappear halfway through the map. That's, that's where you're, that's where you're wrong. That's where you need to let go of those fears. You need to just, oh, that's actually not bad. You need to just let go of the fact that Gwen could disappear off the face of the planet entirely. Just, just ignore that fact. Just ignore it and your life will be so much easier. And, uh, the boundaries of life will open up to you and swallow you whole with all the limitless possibilities. More grapes, please. Um, camera detection is something that we would desire a little more of. Pop, pop. But I guess it's okay for now. I guess I want that over here then, huh? Oh, I didn't even realize I've got a third boat. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Maybe I'll place a monkey ace. Monkey ace would do quite well, I think. Purple balloons. How we doing, team? Good. It seems like it's almost always just escaping their clutches. Just barely. But we seem fine. Okay. Uh, leads are coming next. My usual way to get rid of leads, at least on this map, is like this. Go team, go team. Good. Right. Should be okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. I don't really know what to spend on now, if I'm honest. I know the, the the ice is gonna break away soon again, because I don't remember my cannon staying up for very long. Ooh, that's a little awkward, isn't it? Oh, never mind. It's not awkward at all. Who who said awkward? I I Okay, yeah, that is awkward. Well, now I know at least what I need to spend on. I think I might because honestly, I was thinking about selling this guy to then move him closer, because obviously if the boat's not close, he's not going to deal as much damage as he could, but 
Maybe instead I'll sell him to buy a heli and some upgrades. No, because there will be camo soon. So maybe I'll sell this guy for a helicopter. Okay, good. I'm glad I can't fit a helicopter there, but I can fit one around... Can I really not fit one up there? Like, at all? Really? Like, nowhere? Like, there are zero places this helicopter can fit up on the safest, highest ground? You know what, that's fine. Just because we're going to be finishing with a, uh, a thingo anyway. We're going to be finishing the game with a... A pirate lord anyway, so... I guess it doesn't really matter if we don't... Have a permanent heli situation. Cool, cool! More damage, please! That was pitiful. Thank you. Okay. That's better. But yes, I remember getting this far. Uh, okay. You've still got the camera detection that I gave you. Good. Glad you remembered to keep it. Okay. We're good. We're good. That cannon's gonna disappear soon. Luckily, Gwendolyn won't. Because I luckily put her on that side. I just, I just remembered, you know? I just absolutely remembered, like, hey, I need Gwendolyn to stay alive for this Moab, and I know where the Moab comes from, and it certainly doesn't come down this line. I wish it did. I don't, actually. But, regardless, I know where the Moab comes from, and it is not this line of cracked ice. It's the next line of cracked ice. There you go. Okay. This is the one. Got it. Hmm. Lots of pinks. Luckily, we do have an ability ready that can help us stomp that pretty quickly. Uh, I will sell you, because at the moment you're fucking useless. No offense. And I'll purchase these guys to help us out. See how that goes just on its own. Are we are we decent? Are we decent? Oh, we're pretty decent. I will need to deal with those, but that's okay. Yes, this is much better. Pop, 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 pop. Yeet. Ha <laughs> ha. Pursuit. I can be lazy. Yes. This is what I was hoping for. To be lazy. Also, Gwendolyn, very sorry about what's gonna happen to you very shortly. Well, not shortly, but I'm, I just, just forgive me, would you? That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeet. Come on. Yes, Razor Rotors is gonna help out like you wouldn't believe. Okay, this bad boy can now pop everything and can go into every single row and attack everything. Which is a lovely, lovely thing to know. Um, if I had a second heli, I'd go for a support Chinook, honestly. That's at the back, okay, good. Good, 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 good. We chuck you down now. Just to help burn off the calories. Okay. Now we need to work on our end game plan, so this is where we start throwing up things like uh, this guy. You know, we need to work on things that can hang out in the middle for as long as they bloody well want to. Which means helicopters and planes, man. Helicopters and planes. And if we had snipers, those two. But we don't have snipers, otherwise I absolutely fucking lootly would have brought one along. Unless, of course, the only upgrade path for the sniper was the top path. In which case, I still wouldn't have brought one along. Unless, 
We really needed heavy Moab stunning power. And that was the only thing available. In which case, I would have brought it along. But that's not the case, so I didn't. Simple? Simple. So simple. And if these guys could make money as well, oh, I'd be grabbing them in a heartbeat. Absolutely I would. I feel like the wizard should be able to teleport towers. Is that a little too overpowered? Obviously not at, like, zero, 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 but, you know, at some point in time, I think that would be nice. Maybe go for the uh, top path, you know? I just feel like the top path is undervalued at the moment. Middle path, I, sp I spam all day to get those Phoenix abilities. Bottom path, people used to spam like crazy, I don't know if they still do now. Uh, but people used to spam them like crazy thanks to uh, Necromancer just being broken as fuck and Prince of Darkness. Prince of Darkness was pretty amazing at the time too. I'm going to get a replacement up for when Gwen dies. Also just a really good tower in general. Because Gwen's going to die. This will be the new track. And then I'll have to place Gwen again, but that's okay. Gwen is temporary. The rest of the towers that are alive are alive, also temporary. <laughs> uh, but hey. Boats and helic. No, boats and planes are forever. Boats and planes, man. Boats and planes. Oh, look at you go, Gwen. Getting to level 10 like that. You've got such a bright future ahead of you. I hope you value it while you still can. Gwen's just there like, what? What? Nothing. <laughs> uh, poor Gwen. Right, Gwen. You know what everyone really loves you for? <laughs> Your first ability. <laughs> Get that back, would ya? Thanks. Uh, okay. But yeah, now now we're going well. Now we're, now we're rolling with the punches a little more. I don't think I need to move my boats in for any particular reason yet. Uh, maybe purple popping power later on. But yeah, Gwen's, Gwen's already level 5 again. These, these rounds are just going to fly by. Absolutely fly by. I think I'm going to avoid getting Phoenix for now. Uh, I don't think it's a necessity yet. It might be for 63 actually. So I'll think about it closer to then. But I would prefer to get a Spectre if we can afford it by that time. Because uh, we did... We did lose Gwen there, which did suck. Um, but I don't think we lost any other towers, really. Or at least, if we did, they weren't contributing enough for me to notice their loss. Which is pretty sad. Um, but how do we deal with this? Okay. Didn't even need that, to be honest. I'm glad we still had it, though. Glad it was there. Ooh. The struggle is... The struggle is happening. I don't know why I saw purple balloons and then thought, yes, let's put the cocktail closer to them. That's just dumb. That's just downright dumb. Okay, that should be fine. This one... I don't know, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. 63. Burn, please. I will get that. I don't know if it's too late for that. Probably should have got it sooner, to be honest. Okay, maybe not too late. Maybe not too late. There we go. And then if we need it, we can chuck a cocktail down, but I don't think we do. You beauty. Right, you're going to sell for a lot now when this cracks and breaks away. Um, and by that time, hopefully we have some real damage up and running. I'm talking like uh, a Spectre or, or an Apache or something. I don't know, just something. 
didn't need that, but it was getting close. Figured better now than never. Anyway, we're actually crushing it this time around. My uh, my strategy to just sacrifice Gwen to the to the drink every uh, every so often is is working surprisingly well. Let's do this. Do 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 do. What do we like better, Apache Dart Ship or Spectre? Dart Ship is cheaper, but Spectre. Spectre belongs in my heart. Spectre carries me through so many early Odysseys. You wouldn't even believe. It was such a good tower to just dive straight into. That and Crossbow Master. Both of them consistently got me through like a massive amount of Odysseys. It's insane how good they are. And I will never forget the service they have done. Okay, three abilities. Looking pretty good. Although, Gwen, do you remember what happened last time you got your third ability? Just, uh, just curious is all. No, no, of course it won't happen again. Certainly not. Why would, why, why would, uh, what reason would I have to lie to you about that? <clears throat> anyway, we are crushing this. Let's get that phoenix going. Oops. Did I speak a little too soon? Nah. Right. Always good to back out and then come back in once you uh, once you lose a piece of ice. Just sort of re-evaluate your landmarks. Actually, I guess that would fucking suck in chimps mode, huh? Hmm. Huh. Never really thought about that. Um, but yeah. Right. Apache dart ship or a spectre. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Or... A monkey pirates. <laughs> Close to a Ford Pirate Lord, which would be very worthwhile. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll go Apache Dart Ship just because I want to have another bit of firepower in here, both, uh, both legitimately and of course, in the funny, haha, he said fire, and he placed a tower that can shoot fire, kind of way. Um, oh yeah, that is, that is well worth it. Patchy Dart Ship, you're doing me proud. You're doing me proud. Nice. Got Gwen's Cocktail back, instantly level 5. See, this is why you don't have to worry about Gwen being sold or... Or dying and then coming back. Literally, two rounds. Boom, level six already. This guy already gets his buff back. You can just forget about anything Gwen related. Actually, I should now invest in a Spectre. Come to think of it. Because if I invest in... Oh, actually, yeah, Spectre would have lasted longer. Whereas that, uh, that Apache Dart Ship will die at some point. Hmm. That might have been a bad move then. We'll see. We'll see. Either way though, we'll find a solution. I guarantee it. Or your money back that you never paid. In the first place. Right. Surely if it's just disappeared on uh, 72, I believe it was. End of 71, start of 72. Either way. Um, surely if it's just disappeared, then we won't have to worry about uh, thingy. We won't have to worry about this one disappearing anytime soon, right? Because when does it usually happen? I think the first time it happens at like 30... No. When does it happen? Every... I 
think 36 was one of them. And so if 72 is another one, that checks out. But... 32 would have broken this piece. So then there was another piece between 32 and 70... No, 36 and 72. So 36 plus something... 36 plus 36 gets a 72. So half of 36 being 18, every 18 rounds it breaks, which means if it gets to 72 plus another eight rounds plus another 10, that makes 90. So 90, everything here will die and we will be left with however much everything sells for, which is perfectly fine. You know why? Because I can guarantee you everything that gets sold plus the cash we have on hand will equal an amazing amount that I like to call Pirate Lord money. And then we just win the game. Unless, of course, my math does not check out and I'm misremembering numbers and, and I just completely bollocksed it all up. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if that's the case, but hopefully it's not. Good, that dies pretty quickly. I suppose I could get a super brittle, actually. That might help. Yes, because that is looking a little scary, huh? And yes, I could get my second phoenix. But I don't want to get it to the point where, like, I'm asking the game to kill me, you know? I don't want to get to that point. I'd rather not. Where are you gonna throw that? Oh, just in front of you. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Making sure I know where my panic button is leading. Um, but yeah. I think with everything we've got on the last bit of ice at the moment, and if we can eventually afford it, getting a spectre without having to sell anything, that would be ideal. Ooh, forgot about that part. Super Serams. Super Serams. Pain. <laughs> I think if I was going to get either of these to be a Pirate Lord, it would be you. So let's start working on it, eh? There we go. Now we only need the final amount. However much that is. Okay. Second we can see a fortified one, we'll hook it in. Until then, we will use that. There's a fortified one. Nice. And... It burns, burns, burns. In the ring of fire. In the ring of fire. Da 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 na na. Da 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 na na. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Thank you. Whew. God damn, that was close. It was close, but that's okay. Close is fine. Too close is not. Okay, that's fine. That's not even close. That's not even close. Good, good. Bring out another phoenix again. Anytime things look sketchy, we bring out a phoenix. Anytime things look too sketchy, we bring out a hook. And then we just spam all of our other abilities if we're still scared. Phoenix! Thank you, phoenix. Love you, phoenix. Ooh, we can't hook that big boy in. Luckily, we don't have to. Hook one of those, just to make life easier. Good, good. And blow those up, because we can. Oh, God. We're gonna use that. Phoenix was down. Cool. 
Phoenix was down and I got scared. Let's not... Let's not sugarcoat it. Good Phoenix, good Phoenix. Hook. Very nice. Oh, we are doing splendidly. I don't even know if that's a word. Beautiful. It's all about just winning, you know? If you just win, then you have a good time. Why not just do that every time? Sometimes I ask people that, and they hit me with a, oh my god, really? Winning feels good. And then I get made fun of a lot. Right. Let's, uh... Let's address the elephant in the room. We need more money. And I feel like I'm gonna have to sell something good in order to get it. Tempting, but no. You, you, you donate too much to this cause. Apache Prime, I don't think you're gonna happen. I mean, maybe you could if I sold some other stuff. No. No, no, no. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. And then on top of that, we're also gonna do this. I think. Just as a, just as a precaution, in case things don't go the way I want them to. We're gonna get that ready. But in theory, this will make life very easy for me. We will still send that out to try and actually pop some of these guys, but we're definitely not popping all of them. So we will do that. Pirate Lord, absolute goat at cleaning. Cleans like a goddamn menace. As if his name is Dennis. It's not though, don't worry. Pirate Lord's name is Jonathan. It's actually not, it's actually uh, Monkey Buccaneer. See, hit you with those uh, double and triple bluffs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Nobody ever sees it coming. Two birds! Two birds, one map. No one ever sees it coming because nobody really uses them. Well, I don't know that for a fact. I don't really keep up with BTD6 things, but I imagine if, if multiple Summon Phoenix abilities isn't meta, then I don't know what is. Come on, hook in my problems, blow up the rest. Uh, luckily round 90 takes a while for all the balloons to come out. Oh god, no it doesn't. Luckily... Uh... 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 <laughs> luckily we can sell this. Pie it a lot closer and the ability's ready immediately. Ha ha ha. Had you fooled. You thought I was screwed. Luckily I had enough money to do that. Holy shit. Wait for all three of them to be on screen at once. Hook them in. Dun da 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 dun da da. Cool. Icy cold and fiery hot. That was a lovely Odyssey. I'm gonna say it right now. I really enjoyed that Odyssey. I know it's not the uh, the craziness of custom rounds and everything's changed from you know the the specks on the bottom of the dart monkey's feet to the the tips of the bad balloon's little twenty million health nose at five hundred percent. Um, but yeah, I think this was nice. It was thematic. You had icy cold maps and obviously the fiery hot maps and each one brought its own level of difficulty where it either slowed down the balloons or sped them up. And the addition of half cash 
on the uh, icy cold maps did make it a bit more of a challenge. I appreciate that. Uh, the hot maps being, well, not both of them weren't ABR, but the hot maps being the the speed up ones and then the the, the environmental effects of the maps on the balloons was very nice. And the fact that you recognized that this would be necessary for Mesa, beautifully done. Anyway, amazing Odyssey, I loved it. I still love seeing this little polar bear guy. That's an amazing icon for the map. Anyway, that has been Icy Cold and Fiery Hot Part 2 done. So thank you everybody for so much for watching. Once again, sorry this video came out a little late. Just had a lot of stuff to do. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your week. Uh, bye bye.